guys so i'm new to this this is my first ever review vlog and i'm doing this because i've been searching about day beds and beds uh, for the past few weeks and it was just so hard to find a video or even a blog about this particular bed so it's the fire still from ikea i don't know if i pronounced the name correctly so it's f-y-r-e-s-d-a-l so i'm calling it fire still i just want to share my experience with building it uh using it and even uh, dressing it up with sheets so maybe that would help in your search for your own bed or your own day bed all the parts and put them together. See you tomorrow! Garlic ah! Okay, so we have two boxes. So that was the first box and this is the second box. So I'm going to organize the pieces again like how I did with this one so that we know where everything is before we start. What it looks like. So we're gonna organize it. There's my cozy, ginormous, queen-size bed! I got my new sheets. Again, since I'm all by myself, I got this bed specifically because it can convert into a single, which I am going to do now. So it can actually look like a sofa, but it's actually a single bed. So if you rearrange the pillows, you can actually sleep on it. So that's my fire still building experience. So I hope this helps uh, anybody who's also searching for a bed. Uh, I considered getting a full double, the, the one that doesn't have to transform. But since I do live in a studio unit, uh, I felt that it would be more efficient to have that option to fold it when I do need extra space. I still have a lot of space even if it's already open. Uh, as a queen but uh, yeah, it still would be nice to have that option and when I move in into my future home I, I don't imagine using this as my everyday bed so it would be really nice to use it uh, in a guest room or in an extra room construction wise building wise it was pretty easy with all uh, typical to IKEA products but it was a little heavy and noisy so I was really bothered by all the clanking of the metals and I hope my downstairs neighbor isn't really mad at me. But the, the finish is a really nice mat but if you uh, tighten the screw uh, too much, it will scrape on the paint and you could see the silver under. So don't go too over, don't go overboard with the tightening. One comment I do have is the wrench. Wait, let me get it. The wrenches that I got from my other IKEA products had this side and this side both usable. But for this one, I'm not quite sure why only one side was usable. This one is, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just using it wrong, but 
when I tried to use it to twist the, the screws, it wouldn't work. So there are parts of the bed where it would be it would have been easier if I could use this side. So I had to use this one all throughout. Uh, it's pretty easy to pull in and out. I got a new mattress and then I I had the option of having the mattresses sewn together or two separate uh, foams. So I chose to have it sewn together so that when I pull it out into a queen, I won't feel the mattresses uh, moving apart. But if you do have it custom made anyway, they should be tight enough that you wouldn't have to feel that if you do want to go with the separate foams. One issue I had when I was researching about this was what bed sheet should I buy because I really want to use a fitted sheet so that I don't have to worry about the crumpling and everything in the morning. So I ended up buying all queen size sheets and then when I turned it into a single, I bought this, this garter things so that when I transform the, the foam into a single, I can use the same sheet. So it's just gonna fold over the entire thing. So another thing to note is the thickness of your mattress. So when it's turned into a single, it's going to be twice the height. So I had the option of having a two inch queen size mattress that transforms into a four inch single or a four inch queen size mattress that will transform into a to an eight inch single mattress. So I chose the four inch one because I didn't want to sleep on a two inch uh, queen. That's it. Maybe I also I'm also planning on buying rubber stoppers for the legs because if you do keep pulling in and out you're gonna damage your floor so i have tiles so it's not as obvious but again i still don't want the scratching sound of the metal there uh overall uh i love i love the purchase i i'd recommend it to anybody who would like a really nice day bed uh that also looks really stylish i like that it's really modern looking and it's easy to dress up just put your own touch with throw pillows and your sheets and you're good to go. Thanks for watching!